that like to be able to hang out in the jungle. They've been ganked over and over and over again. So uh, I can't believe they're actually picking up something that is so susceptible to that kind of oh. ganking fade. Uh, will be the last two on that bottom lane. So Centaur is a hero that I am not super confident with, but I think it's actually pretty good this game. Just because they can use him to initiate on some of these uh, team fight heroes, the heroes that are going to make a difference. DDC oh, getting gone. Got it, going to go top. Hop Stomp leveled up his first ability. Suns fan will be impressed as DDC is dropping down low in the trees. Roger will spill the first bluff. They want to keep the pressure on Sila. And with that orb of venom, Sila has to stand close and take it. Hope Stomp is a very good ability. Um, he does have some mana palms on the learning oh, lane. Going stage. again. The rolling again boulder, up. another Hope Stomp. Rinse, repeat. This time it's on the other hero of the top lane. It's mana cost is when you've got before the regeneration. Good idea. But he is vulnerable now, and here comes. Oh, he's going for the TP. I don't think it's going to work. Gang. Oh. What? You knew it was going to win. No wise. But this is a strength item that gives you HP regen. That's exactly what Centaur needs. Roger's making his way into the mid lane. Yang's already been Souls and really, bottom. really pressured heavily. And yeah, you're right, with the shards block in, the snow snowball. Are able to get that the stun, so Ben fade, low on life. A body block from Freeze, keeping no one away. He's got tossed in a couple of seconds time, enough one shot just to use it. Yang will die in the mid. Gave him a really good matchup um, in, in all cases, basically. And Death Prophet doesn't want to lane against it because she's worried about dying. And she oh, rolling holder, they're going in again on Yang. This is going from bad to worse to disastrous. Wow, look at their words. Just, that means they see the, the Batrider approaching and they get to set up that gank ahead of time. And then they rotate towards the bottom lane. Their own Observer Wars know that Fade as well as Freeze didn't move off the lane. Fade wants to initiate onto no one. No one has 9-1 charges and the Shards don't block him in. So Roger can go to work. They want to kill off Freeze. He's primary target. Fade, Snowball Protection comes once more. Roll Rolling boulders towards Solo, but then you got the better one from Roger, hitting into free. Solo will go down as Siler has joined the fight. That level 3 Lucent Beam getting the rebuttal kill onto the Ancient Apparition. Roger might be the same kind of hurt. The shards hold him in, and Siler will get a double kill with the rotate to bot lane. Yeah, he's safe, dude. At least he can spread the spiders up. They won't be able to attack as fast that way, but Ramses can still kill the creep wave. They're fighting bottom. Avalanche toss from no one in the trees. Roger just had to keep the extra control and VGJ thought winning one engagement with VP was like winning a war, but that is never the case. Have seven armor to begin with. And watch this uh, poor moment. Like, really, are we rubbing this much salt in the wound? We're looking for highlight clips. We can potentially come back live right now as Rolling Ball to kick into Sila forces Fade to TP. <laughs> and they really are having a lot of fun. Fade, he's actually in a world of hurt. The Spiley's doing too much damage. They had the silence as well. If he's nearby, he can drop an extra web if he wants to. But they're actually rotating bottom to try and fight, but Roger's in the trees. Sila, the second he shows himself, will die. There is nothing that will prevent this. The cold feet, the snap, the kicks, the toss around. Actually dodging Roger's stun, and Roger... Whoa. Okay, he's a little bit off target. They turn on the Eclipse. No one cops most of it, but still alive. Tosses the tree! It will be a bit of a trade-off with Tiny going down. He's worth a hell of a lot more than the rest of EGJ is. You're talking at the fountain, or the shrine, that is. Oh, Yang. And another fine. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. The He's so die. strong right now. The spiders don't even die. Silent, Silent fade. Who, who, wants, who wants to get away from this one? Go, spiders. We don't need no hero. Let the spider army kill. Fade. Defense. Defense. Death. And oh, trouble as over. well. Ramsey's finally the streak is ended by that was a decent gold swing there about a thousand still losing the tusk he's kind of the sacrificial they're land the stampede they're initiating onto Sila he's able to get the loose beam off Yang to the neighborhood flame break Sila's still gonna get triggered off by the cold feet but support is here for VGJ you'll lose Sila the freeze slowing down Roger his rolling ball is still on cooldown Solo trapped in by the Shanzo Roger will die the spirit side but then Solo he's trying to get out of his icy grave VGJ will stand in the ground with all the sticky napalm charges Solo just cannot outrun this fate will bring him down they'll find the double kills are actually huge when you're this far behind, any kills that you get just catapult you in terms of levels and farm. They can maybe catch Pasha here. They Ooh, actually real do. Real nice shards. Lasso is available too, so Pasha can't just easily run out of this one. He TP support is on the way from, from VP, and it's Roger! Oh. He comes in! He kicks Pasha down! The snowball he falls! They really want no. this kill! Still no Lasso! He doesn't have mana! He's shot by 10! Roger will die the Spirit of Siphon and attack to the Death Prophet, while Yang still on the escape. Solo's damage. One more attack may be enough for the bottle charges from Yang. We'll keep him alive. The Flame Break to create a little bit more space, and he's got it. Yang should 700 magic damage with this combo right now 
Smirk Gang from VGJ is going to come a little bit late. Ramsey's just TP back to the tier 1 tower away from the wedge with a mid lane solo. Very much stranded. Level 5 ancient apparition running at people will only work when there's a, a, maybe an army of spiderlings hovering around. He doesn't escape from it. He just, He's surrounded by four heroes, but they find a better target. There's Ramsey's in mid. Lasso, hold him in position. Spirit siphon him down. Ramsey's, he is dropping very low, and he can't attack anybody with insatiable hunger. VGJ perfectly clip. kiting him. Always going to be out of position. I kind of feel like he should just switch lanes, take the webs to a different place. No one. He's hunting Yang down the bottom. The avalanche will connect on all, killing off both the illusions. And he's still got the tree toss. So Yang, one more punch Jeez. will do it. No one. That haste rune really good. The sigil oh, here. They want Pasha to jump. DDC is right in the right position. The Ancient Apparition Ice Blast is coming in. They avalanche toss onto Sila. So he drops low. Pasha gets the double hoof stop. But now DDC turns on the ultimate. Pasha and Solo caught inside of this. And they have enough damage. VGJ. Solo will fall. They haven't claimed the tower just yet. No one is waiting for the right time just to pop freeze as he sits in the trees. And here it comes. Avalanche toss Lucid Beam interrupting the swing. They silence it. Oh, troll him. Freeze with the X. And two didn't look like it. They are a top-notch team, and you've now you've now enabled them. You've now brought them closer towards that dragon lands. Okay, well we can watch uh, DDC potentially die on the bottom lane. It's got nice class. This is most likely a kill here. Yeah, Solo gets through the wall, and yeah, okay, they're definitely going to kill him off. But Batrider is the bling dagger. The snowball coming after Ramses. If they can close the distance here, Fade going to walrus punch him up. There's your lasso, bringing Ramses back in. These are critical kills they need with the eclipse. The spilings will tank through most of it. The ice so blast is coming in. Ramses, he lives. On 90 HP, the Flame Break couldn't kill him off, and now Fade's the man on the run. VP bringing supplies in so quickly and with... Fighters are to tank up uh, Luna Beams, so... Run, Sila. Run. Care... Go! Oh, it gets him! <laughs> no way. Roger! Blinding it! My with God. With the blink stop, they'll take out Sila. And these guys, they're using the Force. Exorcism. But they can still get a kill here. Oh, they don't actually have the lasso for Yang, so this will make it difficult. But when Solo walks into them, things become a lot easier. So Every Ancient Apparition gets sniped. Lasso available, Exorcism available. They would love to get the Broodmother, who just found it in Viz Rune. Detection required. They Yang, they actually got him. Pull back the Broodmother. Need to hold him in position. The wall will not do it. As now the retreat begins, because the rolling ball, the ice blast kick from Roger on the money. DDC trying to run out this one, but he'll end up shattering. Fade will be unlucky too. The VGJ, at least they get their cause out of this if we look for the silver lining. It's a tough moment if you're the initiator hero there. It feels like I have to take this. This guy's way out of position, but you don't have time to check to see if you have the detection. They're going to try to catch no one. They actually failed the silence here. Yeah, this will be problematic. No one, however, will still go down. They burn Eclipse for 17 one charge. is always going to shatter. He's going to shatter in probably one. That's close. Oh. That's five HP. Very clear. They turn around the bottom lane. DDC was down there to potential from Yang. But it's how, how long? Are they going away before they come in close? No one's waiting. They're ready to fight. The Avalanche, oh, the whole stop, and the Ice Blast. Perfect synergy from Virtus Pro. They'll bring down three of VGJ and finish what they started, which is Roshan. This is perfectly played by VP. Though. Maybe it'll work out here, but... They need to get rid of that Observer Ward. The VGJ is currently under. And here comes the Rolling Boulder. Quick silence onto the Destructor. Yang had the cold feet on him, and he hasn't worked out if he wants to get in or out of this one. Exorcism burned by Freeze. The Avalanche onto Sila, but the Storm is good. But then with the Lasso, they're trying to clip up Randy's and keep him burning. The BKB will give a little bit more life. Finally, the Luna will go down. Pasha jumps on top of DDC, getting the extra control. Rogers is waiting it out, and everyone just magnetized so hard. Fate's finally going to be killing of one, and maybe they have enough damage. VGJ has the Ice Blast landed on Luna that guaranteed her death. She had BKB there. Maybe doesn't go nearly as bad. They're but jumping in. Batrider does not good. have Lasso, but he wants to stop Brandy from getting this bottom tower. Fates nearby. Here comes your Ice Blast. Yang, he can't get caught by this. A four stop. He dodges the Ice Blast. DDC, way too much damage. Ramsey's. Had the insatiable hunger turned on, ready to fight, and now Disruptor is down for a little bit. Yang is still not ready to fight. Trouble keeps them. Uh more resistant to damage. I love that from Ramsey's just then. He, uh, like, so he had his big group oh, they on the wall. They jump in. No one got the BKB off. There's just no ball protection. We're talking about for the double hop stop. Pasha, he got the back lines with the ice blast too. BGJ, they were waiting for.
with the perfect fight. This is not it. Luna dies right in front of her own tier 3 tower. Freeze. He's on the backside trying to work with Yang. A force up away won't happen. The spawn's finally reach him. And now Freeze will go down to VGJ. They got the defender. final game. They don't have exorcism, so it's going to be very difficult to defend, but maybe Tusk can make a difference here. Killing spiders is the first part. Killing the creeps. Let the tower hit the Broodmother or the other heroes, but the tower is not long for this world. Yep, it's already gone. Ramses with that initiation can work right on top. There, Spade. Fantastic save. Buy some space. Oh, they both okay. stop him up, but with that bloody amplified urn, it's just impossible to get back out again. The Spirit Vessel just makes it impossible. He can dispel with you. What else can Yang get? Like, Yang is watching. But he's, he's got Firefly up. Takes to the air. They just try and get rid of the spiders. But there's your jump in. A nice four stuff away. Yang avoiding the initiation of Virtus Pro. But no one just turns back into the fight. The avalanche toss. Where are these BKBs? It won't really matter because you got so much damage from Virtus Pro. They are immune. They are warriors. And they're looking to bring down Freeze. He's a big one to claim. No immunity left anymore. They just keep pumping into him. No one's got the distance. Even with the tree toss, they can't get that. And GG World Blade. Virtus Pro claim yet another major title. And they did it in more than convincing fashion. It was a slaughter in this grand final. And honestly, this didn't look that different from the previous.